buddy games. Yeah. Why have you said it's the hardest thing you've ever done in the business? Well, because it is, directing a movie is really, really hard. And it is a lot of responsibility, a lot of expectation. I put a lot of pressure on myself. You are not only in the movie, but you're also directing it. So you're in a scene and you're also like watching what you're, the performance you're giving and going, okay, we need to adjust that at the end, still be performing. And you got to know everything that the wardrobe and the scripties and everybody, you know, you know what every department's doing and everybody's got questions because they all come to you to find out, do you like this color or this color? Uh, is this line okay for him to say? Or is that, it's like it's nonstop from the time you get up in the morning until you go to bed at night and then you get up the next day. So the, by the time I was done with that first uh, movie, I'll never forget the last night we shot uh, Buddy Games was in Vancouver and it was, a, it was an all-nighter and we had one night to shoot this giant scene and I remember it was about 8 in the morning, we'd been working since like 6 the previous night and it was my turn to speak and I was like I, I couldn't say my words, it was like holy I'm like literally I'm so tired, I can't speak right now. And I didn't know what I was gonna do because I was like, oh my God, I have to say these words. And I was and I was just sort of mumbling through them and I was slurring them and I was like, could, I was thinking about a million other things. We're like this close to the finish line. And, and we ended up cutting a lot of that out, thankfully. But I talked to Mel Gibson after we did, well, while we were shooting Bandit, because I wanted to pick his brain about how he, you know, I'm talking about buddy games, it's a stupid, Dude, comedy. He directed Braveheart, yeah. and I was like, "How did you lead that and 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 direct such an epic movie? You must have been exhausted." He's like, "Man," and he he told me the same story that I just told you. Is that at the end of it, he couldn't even speak. He was so tired, he like couldn't put words together. I was like, "Really? That happened to you too?" I directed a movie called Buddy Games, and I, he's like, "I'm sorry, what was that movie?" I was like, "Never mind." <laughs> We're talking about the guy who directs, you know, one of the greatest directors of all time. What did it teach you? That I could do it, and I could do it in a way that everybody felt really inspired, because it was. It was a really all-hands-on-deck mentality on those movies. And so it was a really collaborative, creative process that I think that people really enjoyed. And that's what I think I got the most out of it, was, like, the ability to, like, get people to rise up. Explain why you bought the rights back and what was involved in that? I bought the rights back because I had seen the movie uh, twice in theaters as in a test audiences, and it just absolutely killed. I mean, people were literally curling over laughing, and we were like, I just remember going, oh my God, they think my dumb little movie is funny. And to see people actually responding to it that way made me understand and know that this is not a movie that we're just going to sell off in a fire sale. This is a movie that need, that deserves a real shot. And uh, WWE at the time was, uh, they were about to sell it off and, and nobody would, would have ever seen it. And I said, well, then I'm not promoting this movie. And they're like, what, what do you mean you're not going to promote the movie? You're going to ruin your career. I was like, I don't care. I'm, that is not how this movie is going to go out. I have put too much guy work into this thing for you and I and I know that it works for you guys to go just you know take a tax write off on this thing and so I said I'll pay you whatever that company is going to pay you and we get the rights and we get the TV rights and sure enough we got the right distributor behind it and the movie did amazingly well so well that we got to make another one and we get to now make a TV show and so, you know, it was, it was one of the ballsier things I think I've done, but it was there for a few weeks at number one. I was like, wow, our little tiny movie that wasn't supposed to go do anything did. And I'm so glad we got this back from them. And you bet on yourself every step of the way. Yeah. How about craziest thing that's actually ever happened in the real buddy games? We get together once every year, every third weekend of August every year uh, for the annual Buddy Games. We've been doing it forever. I think the, the first sanctioned event was 2007, but we'd been doing it since the mid-90s. And whenever you've got friends that you've known this long, uh -huh. people just don't understand. 
you know, unless, unless they're there, unless they really understand you. So as far as crazy events, we always do something crazy, whether it's right out here two years ago, we did a thing called Splattle where you put everybody on a, each team was, there's teams of four and we'd have one team would take turns one man at a time, would go from buoy A to buoy B and they had to paddle their way across and the other team got to sit there and shoot paint gun <laughs> pellets at them. And to see these 47 or eight year old men paddle boarding in their underwear, getting blasted with paintballs was so funny. How about when one girl punched the other girl in the eye socket? Yeah, that was pretty crazy too. That was a, uh, who told you that? I, I, oh, I, heard, told you I, that I heard that was the yeah. time you guys decided, to, okay, if any <laughs> single guys are here, yeah. no more ladies. Yes, exactly. That was, uh, that was several years ago now, but yeah, that was like, no more. Any, and you guys want to go do that? You can go do that before we get here, but we're not trying to, you know, we're not, we don't want cops showing up at the buddy games. Which is what happened. Yeah. It was like a UFC fight. I think the girl was actually an MMA fighter. When she had like a criminal record too. Uh, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Did you look that up? You probably uh, did. That's what I was told. Oh, yeah. you yeah. probably looked that up. 